world's heaviest building. What's it made of? My wife? I think. <laughs> No, I was gonna say, I, 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 great fits, gang. Ooh, thank I'm feeling you. underdressed. Oh, thank you. Love the plaid. The orange, it, it blue. It's very vibrant. I've been, I've been trying. Nice. I used to always wear like I was somebody like would always wear. I'm gonna wear like all black and like a yeah. denim jacket for yeah, yeah. years. I do that a lot. Now I'm exploring earth tones. You look good too. Mm -hmm. This is a nice you've combo. Transition to I'm mad muted colors. The purple yeah, brownish like orange it. is nice. Mm. I, don't I like know if it. I like it. I feel like I've got it's it, it's a reflection of how every pant that I buy has a drawstring pant. though. I'm <laughs> yeah. I'm I've been I'm big on a pant that it looks like a slack but it's actually. <clears throat> it's actually like elastic. It's actually cozy oh, up here. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. maternity wear. Maternity Dude, wear. I haven't worn jeans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that jacket like a, you, you have, not this one. The plaid the, uh, one? The plaid one. Every, there it is. Mm -hmm. Every time I see you come in with a jacket, I'm like, I'm going to tell him that's a great jacket. But I've told you it like three times. No, tell me every so time. So I had to not say it today. I need but it. But I was thinking it. It was like. Great jacket. Like my mind was like, you got to tell him. You were holding back so he'd be on his toes so on the so pod. He, brought he didn't want, she didn't want you to be too relaxed. Yeah, 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 great jacket. Um, <laughs> we didn't I, want you to think uh, we liked you a lot right off the bat. You know? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's got a real kind of Euro trash, like Russian yeah, kind of. Yeah, I guess yeah. it does. 70, or like Huggy Bear, 70s yeah, kind of. Yeah, it is 70s. No, totally. 70s is back. You know, I'm actually glad. These are new you, pants. These right? are new old pants, dude. That's I what did these it again. are. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Like yeah. new old, as in you bought them a while ago. I bought these like three years ago. Yeah. They were like a little. This happens to me all the time. Yeah. I'll buy something. I'll be like, it's a little too cool for me right now. Oh, uh, okay. Like the style was like just coming out. Yeah. Mm. And uh, then I got them, and I was like, I don't feel like I'm cool enough for yeah, these. Yeah, I know what <laughs> you mean. Three years go by, they're not like as stylish now, and I'm like, that's perfect. Dude, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. What? I like to be right behind the time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're like Albany. Yeah. Like everybody in Albany still has like fanny yeah, packs and yeah, shit on. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also they're baggy, which when I bought them wasn't really the style yet. Okay. And I was like, they're too baggy, but now it's now it's now it's in. Now it's in. It's cool. I like it. All obviously brought Thanks. it up. Thumbs up all around. I know what you mean. We're looking I good. Keep Dude, watch I, watch the YouTube. Subscribe. See yeah, to see our outfits. Yeah, if you guys are listening to this and not watching, oh, you said it's on YouTube. Oh, Patreon. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube. If you're not watching We're this on over. YouTube, you're really missing out. This is kind of like the Met Gala of podcast. He's got a nice cord hat. I got yeah. <laughs> if, you, yeah, if you're dude. not looking directly at it, you can't tell us. Can't cords. tell us corduroy, but it's winter, and as a as a baldy fellow myself, the corduroy really does make a difference. He's showing tonight. his bald head. There you go. Watch that, the you're into that. You sick fucks. Sick fucks. <laughs> bad. You're bad. How are you doing? How's your day? I'm chill. I was just telling Allie before we hit record that um, uh, I recorded my podcast right before this. Mm -hmm. So I've been talking Close for calls. Yes. So I've been Listen talking. Listen in. Great yeah. pod with Lizzie Cassidy. It's a podcast about near death experiences. Um, I always say it's true crime adjacent. So it'll be like about somebody who got like marooned at sea or last lost in the amazon but they don't die yeah. so you can like you know we kind of like make fun of the people and yeah. stuff but yeah. so i that's, listened to a few eps one time on yeah. the airplane whoa a few which eps, is always one a near time death experience. on an airplane yeah. honestly from a fellow comic that is the highest <laughs> praise lot. yeah if a somebody's like i watched the first 10 minutes of your special i'm like you're amazing thank you so <laughs> <Yeah>. much <laughs> just because we yeah. see so much comedy and we do so many podcasts and we do so many of these things that when i want some sort of media to like chill out with with, it's never fucking comedy. Related. Yeah, it's also it's never my for me friends. Mm, <laughs> I know, mm -hmm. same. You know what like, I mean? Yeah, I see enough of this guy. Yeah, exactly. This. It's just like I don't know. I've people we've we've people come up to us and be like, "Dude, I love the pod." Yeah, and they're like, "I mean the clips." <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah you dude. see the clips," and then you're like, "The pod's great." You know, I listened to Dave and Caleb's pod. Uh, What's last it called? week? Because I was yeah. like, "Oh, I should listen." I've never listened to it, uh -huh. and also because. Me and Caleb got in a beef about movies. Oh, yeah. I was like, they talk about our beef on the pod. Yeah. Not a real one. Oh, okay. But it is kind of funny. We could talk about that now. Yeah, we should. We should actually, we should start a, I mean, they've been beefing with us. 
And yeah. it's been a one sided And we've been beef. actually really nice and open with them about our yeah. feelings and our friendship. So Yeah, and honestly, I think those guys suck ass. Well, they're bullies. And <laughs> they're absolutely bullies. If, I don't know. If you listening are <laughs> into alt right edgelord yeah. comedy. If you're into two guys who look and sound exactly the same, saying the same <laughs> stuff back and forth to each other, I'm like, oh yeah, they both have beards and glasses and they're both yeah. like, what's up? I'm down uh, here. Uh, and two uh, guys uh, who talk uh, about yeah, it's literally bestiality if, in a serious way. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, because they love it, which is really fucked it up. It felt like they'd written essays on it before when they did that clip. Like they mm-hmm. both thought about it a lot. Yeah. And if you're just, you know, if you're supporting that thin blue line, go ahead and listen That's right. to that pod. <laughs> That's right. What's it called is an alt right podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where they rename something every episode. <laughs> they rename something but make it racist. Yeah. Which yeah. is a real fun angle. Yeah, they're like yeah. heels. You mean sin shoes? Dude, what? <laughs> nice what one, What the hell was that? Sin <laughs> shoes? Yeah, yeah, because they rename it. And they hate women, so they're you like, sound like a sin Oh, because they hate women. Okay, I was a little like... <laughs> yeah, I know, that was kind of a reach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll really be the was. first to admit that was Even a reach. a church lady wouldn't have gone with that first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If she was trying to rename it. <laughs> And that's a church lady thing to say. You know, she would have heard her mind th- say sin shoes and she would have been like, no, that's hack. Next thing. Yeah. I appreciate you you going for it. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you should think a little bit before you no, try to riff. No, don't think. That's like the first rule of riffing. Yeah, yeah. Famously, oh, what's my next riff? What's my next riff? Famously yeah. the first rule of yeah. any improvising. <laughs> don't. All right. You know, whatever. I think anyway, but to, it's, oh, go on. We got more. We got more. Names I think everybody. I think everybody. Yeah. Uh, another thing for heels. Name a clog. Uh, uh, big, big boots. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Big boots. Big boots have an ass. I think clogs should be clompers, obviously. Horse. Yeah. Right. This is horse, horse adjacent. Girl. Yeah. Hoops. Whoa. Yeah, Brittany's a horse, a horse girl. girl. Yeah, that's horse right. Girl. We talked so about was Lizzie. It. Yeah, she was. Yeah. She's yeah, like no. a horse girl in a different way than you're a horse girl. Yeah, yeah very much. She had horses. Yeah, wait. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever ride horses or you just oh, liked horses? Oh, man. We've told the story on the pod, but I'll break it down for you. I loved horses as a kid. Yeah. I never had a horse. I did do like lessons a couple times. Yeah. But my thing was I would imagine that I had one and I would pretend to ride that's one so around. That's so funny. Did you Be ever? galloping around in, at recess. Did you ever I'd do hobby like, horse? <laughs> No. no, but you used yes. to. Yeah. What is that called? Ma, not. What is it? Maying. Maying. Used to may. Nay. Nay. <laughs> nay. <laughs> yeah, I used to nay, and I'd be like. Whoa. It's weird because she had put my hooves up in the air, you, you know. Yeah. She had horses, but she would also pretend to be a horse. Yeah. Well, I had imaginary I horses. I see where your sense of humor comes horses, from now. Yeah. My what? Your sense of humor when you when you start to <laughs> learn where where like you know like your buddies like like what what fucked you up? Yes. It's like, mm. I think this was a big. Oh, thing. you were that girl. Yeah. It's like all okay. coming yeah. together uh-huh. for everybody and, who uh, finds out about it. Makes sense. It explains all my relationships. So too. you had a lot of alone time as a child. I did. You weren't. Seems weren't like socializing much. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. And then cool, I had cool. a crush on a boy. I'm not going to go too far into this because we've talked about it on the pod, but uh-huh. I had a crush on a boy named James. Okay. I was riding around at recess like I always did. Before this happened, I was just confident about my horses and my choices to like love them, right? Horses and choices. Yeah. I love that. And I hear chanting. He's like, horse girl. Oh, horse. Dude. I turn and look, see, it's my crush. That day I decided I'm no longer a horse girl. This is humiliating. I stopped riding around. This is tough. I'm so sorry that happened. I, that uh, was a loss of innocence moment for you. And yeah. I think you should reclaim it right now. Why don't you do a couple laps? Yeah. Dude, I, think it's, <laughs> I will. I think it's fucked up that that happened, but I'm so glad it did because Me you're too. so less, you're so cool now. Because you started being self-conscious. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that was the moment. That was the moment. That's amazing what destroying somebody's confidence will do. I don't know if I do. ever would have got that without him. <laughs> Dude, yeah. this podcast would suck if you made horse noises the entire time. <laughs> people like it. That's how I f- think people yeah. feel about it. Anyway, welcome to Worthless Clowns. Yeah, it's a <laughs> podcast about how stupid we all are. I'm Brittany Cardwell, Bertonis Cardwell on Instagram. Uh, I'm Ali O'Neill. You can find me on Instagram at It's Ali O'Neill. And we got a special stupid guest today. Um, he has a podcast we talked about called Close Calls, and he also has a special on YouTube. Fucking go over there and type it in. It's called Harangue. Yes. Everybody give it up. Just out. Just yeah. out. Newly out. Give it up for Kevin Casey White. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for Great the pod. to be here. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having me. Congrats on your special. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with how it's going. Getting a lot of write-ups and stuff. Yeah. It's doing well. Mm-hmm. I didn't complete. Uh, it's funny. I've, you know, you do comedy a while and you learn how to deal with the embarrassment of like, Going up with nothing and having to form it in front of an audience. It's it is 
painstakingly embarrassing when you start doing comedy because oh, yeah. you have oh, fucking yeah. nothing. Yeah. So it's been a long time since I felt this exposed that like the week right before it came out, I was like, oh my God, what have I done? This thing's like yeah. going to be live in like seven days. <laughs> oh. I need to like call the label and tell them this was a mistake because it's, I don't know, it was like so nerve wracking. Yeah. And then it came out and people liked it and everything yeah. was fine. So follow your dreams, kids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's all, all the comments. There's like, like 99% of the comments are really, really positive of mm -hmm. like, cause it's like my, the first thing I've like released on like a, you know, yeah, people are yeah. like, wow, like this guy's like actually funny. You don't know who he was, blah, blah, blah. And you know, stuff. Nice. Going. And then you get like one comment of like, yeah. that cameraman sucks. That's like an actual <laughs> comment somebody left. And I called up the director and I was like, we need to kill this guy. We yeah. need to find him. We need to hunt that's him down pretty good, and put him in prison. It's pretty good though for a negative comment. It's not even about you. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. There were literally like three negative comments. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, you know, and, so if you're listening to this and you're thinking about adding on a couple more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get him some more. Let's get him some more negative Go comments. Go watch it and leave a review. Okay, yeah. I can take it. If you but don't leave enough negative comments, he won't have the impetus to write better jokes yeah. for next special so yeah that's that's you're, exactly you're this where career. this is going yes i need this because yeah. uh my dick hasn't been kicked in enough so <laughs> thank you um but uh yeah no i'm really happy with yeah. it really proud of it and it's doing and well and kevin so. did my show last week ambush comedy every wednesday so o'clock. much fun man and you killed you had a thank great you. set thank you yeah. thank you and that was all new so yeah. it, was, the, it was great the new hours so coming good. together um and you know we'll did see. you like as soon as mm. you were done with the special were you like i can't wait to get this to this new hour yeah kind so of. Sick of running it you know one of the reasons i decided to do the special was because i f i noticed i wasn't writing mm -hmm. and i was like oh you know what it is whenever i'm booked <laughs> i can just do the act yeah yeah you, know? you yeah. get to start fresh yeah, yeah so i didn't realize like how much because you know you hear about comedians like putting out another hour and i'm like oh like i've i've learned i'm like this is like a part of the process i never considered before of like how easy it is to just get comfortable yeah you know totally. what I mean? i've been doing that yeah, yeah same Put and out a thing. getting too comfortable means i'm not having fun and yes. then it means my jokes that work don't work anymore yes because yeah. the audience can tell yeah. if you're having fun and if you're not they're not they can tell if you infectious. feel distant from yourself in yeah, that joke dude. Yeah. and i do they're very smart yeah there have been so yeah. many times i'm on stage and i'm doing my like bits and i'm fucking disassociating and yeah, then you'd be like no you're here you're here look <laughs> at people in the eye is a trauma response so if you've yeah. definitely yeah. <laughs> you've done yeah. as many bad shows as we have you, you yeah. would disassociate too yeah <laughs> yeah man yeah, yeah, but that's 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 one hundred percent what what sparked it. Hooray and I on recommend, YouTube. Yeah, check it out. I recommend everybody do the same. You know, put yourself in a weird spot. Uh, you asked how I was doing earlier. <laughs> I wanted to let, and I, you know, I probably don't need to mention this. Probably nobody would notice. But I was saying to you, I was like, oh, I, uh, Allie, but you weren't here in the room. But I was like, yeah, I did a podcast before this, and I took my Ritalin today, so I'm very like Ooh, hyper dude. focused. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I do have a meaty story okay i okay. do have a good story for you i, I did Ooh. my homework i'm ready to jump yeah, into let's it let's fucking jump into it then but if i'm just spitting facts interrupt me all you want we oh, will you know what I mean? interrupt you. Yeah. because i am like in a locked in mood so all right um, fantastic okay fucking get in there dude. well how let's does it start i just like do, normally do you have we questions? ask but you ask us okay, go, so. ahead, go ahead and tee it up let's hear it i want to hear hey, your stupid story you got story. a stupid story first that's what ellie normally says kevin i want to hear it so bad i'm glad you asked okay i want to hear the story so bad <laughs> okay, put your sin <laughs> shoes back on. Um, okay, so I did something, Reese. I was trying to think, like, I don't really... So you asked me for a story of like something where I f felt like embarrassed or did something dumb, and I try yeah. not to feel embarrassed because oh, yeah. I think feeling... I love it. Feeling a bit, well, <laughs> just like if I, I can think of times when I've like stuck my foot in my mouth, made a bad oh, joke, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. read a room, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, that's not, we all do that. And that's yeah. easily forgivable. Every day I'm doing that. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I am going to give a story about a time I did something dumb. And when it comes out, I might feel embarrassed. <laughs> oh, oh it's, Perfect. it's still embarrassing. Yeah. It could be embarrassing. All right. Well, let me tell you something. This podcast is a celebration yeah. of being stupid and embarrassed. Yeah. Hey. And so, ignorance and uh, everything. We'll fucking so. strap in. This was a very, well, okay. Uh, as, I can't wait for this. As yeah, I'm I sure you please know. tell me the story please now. Tell us, please. Well, I haven't told you <laughs> about. Did you hear about how I went to Romania? No. Yes, uh, I knew you went. He traveling. was on Romania's Got Talent. Yeah. Oh my God, I didn't know that. You didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Dude. So. <laughs> 
This yeah, is embarrassing. This is stupid <laughs> and should be embarrassing. Okay, here's what happened. I was last summer. I was in Spain. I was in Barcelona. I was doing some shows, and I met another comedian who told me she had done Romania's Got Talent, mm -hmm. and I was like, "That's hilarious. Yeah. That's like the funniest. Cra like, that's yeah. a thing." How do I get on that? Yeah. Yeah. Because I just thought it would be funny as a goof to like have that logo next to my face on a poster. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. So funny. For an MC to say that to bring me up. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Norway's I. Norway's got talent. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> any, right. Any place sounds I didn't know, ridiculous. Yeah. I didn't know. Sierra places... Leone's got talent. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know other places had talent. You yeah. know? <laughs> I didn't know they did. And I found out Romania does. So let's go check it out. Oh my God. It's so funny to be like, I didn't realize that people who don't live in America are also doing stuff. That they got yeah. talent. I thought they were just knocking rocks together. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Romania, yeah, they just got their first stoplight, right? Great. Yeah. Great. Uh, so I applied. Mm -hmm. And then I like a week goes by and. Uh, do you just send a tape? Is that dude, all it is? Okay, so I forgot that I even had this like info. Uh, four four months later or something, it was like on a note on my phone. I was like, oh yeah. Well, let's 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 go to the website and you enter like your name yeah. and what you want to do and I think like a video. Yeah. And it was actually surprisingly easy to get on. I think because of where I live, because I got a WhatsApp mm. message two weeks later. Mm -hmm. from somebody <laughs> saying they were a producer for Romania's Got Talent. WhatsApp is so big out and, there. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can come do the show, and why would you want to do the show? <laughs> why would you actually, they you know They asked, what? why do you want to do this? Dude, uh, you know what? I'm going to take a... I should have queued this up. I You can literally read... What this uh, woman read to me. We were gonna, you're gonna edit some of this, right? Yeah, yeah, we can edit out. Yeah, yeah whatever you want. Out. Yeah. Long pauses. Look, hi Kevin. My name. What is it? I don't even remember what this says. Hi Kevin. The... My name's Adina from the show Romania. It's what? called Ayumor. Ayumor. Uh, but it's Romania's got. Okay, talent. gotcha. We saw your subscription, and I want to know if it's available. Yeah. So the bit of a language barrier. Wait, yeah. subscription. So is that what she said? I think she meant submission. <laughs> submission. I guess, gotcha. and yeah. wants to know if I am available. Oh yeah. Mm. Right. So if you keep here, can I, I keep can, scrolling? Or? Yeah, if you want, or I can okay. just direct you to it, whatever. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I'm interested. What are the next steps? Blah blah blah. And uh, she goes, can I ask you a, a question? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, why would you want to come to Romania? <laughs> She goes, where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay, here. And I was like, I just think it'd like be cool to check it out. And she goes, okay, well, if you decide to come, um, maybe you can write some jokes about how Romania is different from New York. It would be better this way. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, I can do that. And then she goes, every Romanian dreams to go to New York at least once in their lifetime. Uh, many of many Romanian people saw New York in Home Alone, smiley face. <laughs> I love that. That's Chicago, right? Yes, it's famously Chicago. Yeah. The second one is in New York. Oh, but okay. Sure. I love how that it's all the same. Home Alone Two is their number one reference yeah. for American culture. Mm -hmm. They're like they keep they leave kids home alone. I know. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's uh, the second then time. they set up a bunch of booby traps yeah. to kill Joe Pesci. Yeah, dude. It's it's yeah. They're just like that's that's what they do in America, right? Yeah. Uh, children are feral and trying to kill every adult at every yeah. turn. And the streets are made of gold. Yeah. But yeah, she's. Like she's like, but she goes like, I can't believe an American that lives in New York actually wants to come to Romania. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll come. This is something she should be saying with her co-producers. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 are you sure? Well, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, yeah. And also her being like, if you decide to come, yeah, it's like I, know, I, I, I submitted, know. dude. Yeah. Well, so we'll yes. assume you're not coming, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do come, let us know. Cause yeah, we, yeah. I think I appreciate her giving me an out or whatever. I think it's, I think it's, it, it's. So it's interesting. So this kind of reinforces in my mind that fucking thing about I'm not one of these people, but you know, like a lot of people moved to New York and it's like their whole personality. Like mm. I live in the greatest city mm -hmm. in the yeah, world. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Right. So I made the big move. I was brave to come here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like when people do that. I, I, well, I, you know, I was, it's, it's also like filthy and there's a lot of problems yeah. with the city as well, yeah. well you know, yeah. but some people act like it's, uh, 
uh, the only city. Mm. And so she's saying this stuff, and I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to be like a big shot when I get to Romania. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Wait, I have a be, question. Yeah. So you don't have to be Romanian to be on this show? like No, because I told you that Spanish comedian did it. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah. You just have to be even... Oh, yeah. Did you have so to be there me, for a certain number of l- months? Let me clarify. Uh, I asked why she had done it, and she was like, there's not a lot of comedy in Romania, mm. so they fly mm. in people from oh, nearby oh, okay. major cities. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And I guess the flight from... Uh, Barcelona is pretty quick or cheap or something. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Barcelona's got a comedy scene. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'd come, you know? And so they put they, you know, they were like, cool, we can get you a hotel for a few days. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your stay. Yeah. yeah. And my girlfriend has uh, Delta points. Oh. So I, <laughs> I wish I could say Romania has got talent paid really well or something. It was yeah. more, it was more like, if you can get here, we'll put you up yeah. and like, we can yeah. like show you around a little bit, but it's, it's pretty hands off. So I was like, all right, uh, let's do it, <laughs> you know. So uh, I'm trying to like write jokes about like, okay, what do we do about Romania? <laughs> okay, I don't like, I don't know. Do you know anything about no, fucking Romania? I really know nothing about Romania Boy. except for that's where Andrew Tate went to sex traffic all those Boom. girls. Ah. Okay, that's one thing that oh. I know. Yeah, I know uh, Vlad the Impaler, who inspired Dracula, is okay. from yeah. Romania. Mm-hmm. Is it a uh, former <laughs> Soviet country? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it's right it next is. to like Croatia. And yes, shit. you're yeah, killing it. Yeah. I know, like, I know yeah, geographical I know the area. shit. About yeah. It. yeah. And uh, also, if you Google fun fact Romania, uh, one of the first things that pops up is it's home to the world's heaviest building. <laughs> <laughs> Which is insane. Dude, not even largest, nope. just heaviest. Not largest, not tallest, it's heaviest. Just dense. Also, how would you even know? Dude, yeah. it's cra- how I do know. you do that? <laughs> Crazy, right? Yeah. They're not out there weighing buildings. So funny. So <laughs> I'm trying to like come up with jokes for this. And, uh, you know, you mentioned Lizzie earlier. She wrote this. I didn't wind up doing it on TV. I kind of wish I did, though, where uh, I go like, yeah, you need Google Romania. One of the first things that pops up is it's home to the world's heaviest building. World's (laughs) heaviest building. What's it made of? My wife? I think... (laughs) That would have been great. That's so funny. And I wish I did it. Yeah, you... Oh, my God. That's so so funny. I get to (laughs) Romania... My okay, so my girlfriend was supposed to come with me. All and right, then she broke her foot. Right? She broke her foot. Oh, yeah, she was like on a work thing in mm-hmm. Arizona, and it was supposed to come back for. And then like the day before, she was gonna fly back to meet me and to go. She um sp- like broke her ankle. She's like walking Jesus. in heels and stepped down and uh, like off a oh. step and twisted it in a weird way Man. and boom. Gosh. So I'm like. I can't. I don't want to go. I got to take care of you. She's like, you have to go. She's like, commit to the bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is funny. Romania's got talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why I love her. She is so supportive of the dumbest. Uh, <laughs> she loves a bit, right? Yeah. So I was like, oh, it's my duty. I have to go. <laughs> I'm going to make you proud. No. <laughs> so I go, I get on a plane and I go and it's like layovers, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I realized when the plane landed, this is the furthest I've ever been from home and mm-hmm. I'm here by myself mm-hmm. and it is cold and it is rainy and literally on the um, uh, landing strip, the tarmac, right? There were like four broken down, rusted out uh, planes that they had just like shoved oh. to the side of the tarmac. But there's like, oh. put that over there. And I'm like, oh, fuck. This like is real. like a junkyard real. of planes. Yeah, dude. There Man. were like four of them like, like there's like a, together, there's like a stray rusty. dog running around the planes. Dude, yeah. literally. And it hit me. I'm like, whoa, Romania is like, fi- like already oh, no. like everything it's, it's I thought yeah. it was. It's oh, different man. here. Have you ever been to a Soviet country? No. Either of you? No. Or formerly? Yeah. So uh, uh, I, I I did a little research in, uh, I, th- I believe it was Christmas morning, 1986, their uh, last uh, communist dictator was dragged out of his home and shot in the head in the streets. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, There's this, some crazy shit that happened over yeah. there in like mm. Kosovo and shit. Yeah, it's dude. really nuts. Mm. So he's one of these tyrants. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah. why that super heavy building, super like so heavy, <laughs> was made. Because uh, he wanted to build like a big palace and he, you know, starved his people to pull it off. He's like, get the heaviest rocks. Literally, yeah, I think that was part of it. What is it made out of? I gotta, I'm gonna research that. Yeah, we gotta research this later. I I can't get stuck on the building. Yeah, I know. (laughs) 
<laughs> so I get there and I'm like jet lagged because it's like the other half of the fucking world. And mm -hmm. uh, and, and you're I'm, only there for a few days. Yeah, I was going to stay longer, but I was like, well, the girl isn't here. So I want to go yeah. back. And then I yeah. land and I was like, oh, I'll like see all the sights and stuff and yeah. like run around. Here's the thing, man. I've I've traveled a, a, a bit. Mm -hmm. I've been to places where people welcome you with with open arms. Not mm -hmm. saying they have to. Yeah. OK, whatever. Mm -hmm. But like I feel like um, a lot of the times when I'm in a new place, it's not uncommon to find people who are like, oh, welcome. Yeah, what yeah. brought you here? <laughs> what are you doing here? What do you do? Yeah. yeah. Dude, Romania, they don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. <laughs> they couldn't care less, especially like I said, from She's the like, text. She's like, no, they love New York. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They're going to so, love that you're from New York. Literally every person. Did you try and talk about Home Alone? No, yeah, have you that tried was my mistake. mistake. That was my bad. <laughs> Maybe they didn't make the connection. Yeah, you know, yeah. Home Alone. Yeah, and then they're like, oh waving around like a like With a Donald screen Trump, bro, Home Alone. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, come into my home, have some borscht. Yeah, see, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. even know what they fucking eat there. Uh, oh boy, uh, you know what? I looked up their national dish. This is another joke I didn't do because I I feel like it wouldn't translate. I. Um, you know, uh, Alonzo Hamburger Jones. Yes. Right. Yeah. Hamburger Alonzo, Jones. Hamburger Jones. Like was, Hamburger Helper. No, he was no, a comedian. Dude. Comedian. Like, I don't know on, this guy. He's late on 80s. Def Jam comedy. Yeah. Oh. Def Jam. Late and he 80s, was like, early 90s. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, Hamburger. Yeah. His, that was like his whole <laughs> bit. His <catchphrase>. <laughs> in between. I told you about my grandpa and Hamburger, right? No. My grandpa had the same catchphrase between he, him and his friend. What? I think it was completely separate. Are you separate. serious? Yes. Maybe so it was like, an Alonzo Jones fan. Yeah, may, yeah, I doubt it. I highly doubt it <laughs> based on some of the things I heard him say before. <laughs> but, Whoa. But my grandpa would like, uh, he had a, he was staying with us for a while because his wife had cancer and she was like not doing well. Right? Okay. She, uh, you know, my grandma, she died. It was a while ago. It's fine. Grandmas but, do that. Yeah. Yeah. So he was staying with us. So I just remember one time someone called and I answered, and they're just like, hello, is Hamburger there? Ah, yeah, dude. That <laughs> they had rules. this little like, thing between them. Wait, wow. I miss that. I miss that old school. Hot dog, hamburger. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> it's talking about good foods yeah, we dude. like as a friendship type of thing. Yeah, panini. You're from Boston. Uh, surely you knew a kid whose nickname was Cheese or something, right? <laughs> Not really, no. All right. I uh, Shattered I knew a guy that named illusion Jungle. for me. <laughs> what? I knew a guy named Jungle. Okay, th that rules. That's way <laughs> yeah. better. Anyway, uh, I knew a moon. So anyway, yeah. Because of this, right? I was yeah. like, oh, you know, it'd be kind of funny. So this this comic's catchphrase was hamburger. I thought it'd be uh, so funny if I did that with their national dish. <laughs> so I'll try that on you now. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Uh, world's heaviest building. What's it made of? My wife? <laughs> Solvaki. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty good. What is it? What's it's, a, it's a it's a cabbage roll stuffed with meat. Oh yes, yeah, stuffed cabbage. It's stuffed Sorvaki. cabbage with like it's yeah. 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 What is that? Gwumkis. That's what, is what the Polish version of it is. Really? Called. Yeah. Okay. So sure. Oh, and it's like in like a Polish. yeah. My grandma was Polish. It's like a big pot of it, and you, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing, right? Yeah. Those kind of like hearty cold weather. Sorvaki. Yeah. Sorvaki. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How'd that go? Well, okay, so... And did uh, they know? Did they know about the catch... Like, did you set it up to be like, they do this catchphrase thing? Okay, so I did... So I got in night one. I ate... So Actually, wait, you know what? I, wait, let me... Can I pull up my jokes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's hear <laughs> actually, them. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. I, oh, oh, here it is. Patreon, we can do early jokes. Yeah. We can do first jokes. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, no. So it's it's Sarmale. That's what it is. <laughs> Sarmale. Um, Maybe you were saying Sorvaki the whole time, and they were like, what the fuck is this asshole saying? Sorvaki is something else. I get them confused. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I, I got in, and I ate some Sarmale, Sorvaki, whatever, however you, whatever you want to call it, and uh, went right to bed. And I got up the next day, and I was like trying to whatever and i go i go to oh yeah i was gonna say nobody cares about you being from new york literally every mm. <clears throat> romanian person that i met uber drivers whatever uh i go they'd be like oh uh, that accent where are you from and i'd be like oh yeah i'm uh, i'm from the states i'm mm -hmm. new york city actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah and literally everyone would respond with why why are you here yeah <laughs> what are you doing here i yeah. got my coffee from a guy and he goes what are you doing here 
Uh, everybody's like suspicious, you know. What are you doing here? You well, have the M&M because Andrew store. Tate goes over there and sex traffics uh, women. Oh yeah, it's probably the most famous yeah, American. Maybe. I, 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 I was like, I keep getting asked why I'm here. Do you not get a lot of Americans here? And he goes, only if they're spies. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Is that a? Is there like a big distrust? They all between... have this respect for probably. you that you didn't really understand, like suspect uh, and like skepticism. Definitely skeptical of yeah. of, of outsiders is yeah. the vibe I got. Not super warm, not super welcoming. Cold, rainy mm. the whole time. I was um, not, you know. I. It's not like I. It's not like I was like in a. I, I don't know. I don't want to shit on Bucharest or Romania as a whole or anything, but just from the couple days I was there, I didn't find it to be the most lively, exciting yeah, town yeah. I've ever visited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll <laughs> say that. So, um, day two, I got a couple gigs. Um, they, they do have a comedy club, uh, and I, I got to go up on that. And then there was like, uh, one of the comics brought me to like another show, like a coffee mm -hmm. shop show. Yeah. And it's really interesting. Um, I've always been a little like indie darling, kind of like mm -hmm. I love my little indie shows. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I can say that it seemed to translate in Romania too. Uh, the coffee shop show was so much fun and the oh, club good. show was yeah. garbage for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. like drunk and yelling mm -hmm. shit and kind of whatever, you yeah. know? So I, so the club show was first and I go up and I try the, uh, uh, my wife thing and, uh, <laughs> and, and nobody likes it. And, uh, you're treat you're treating them like they're 20 years behind well, in comedy, which is what I would think. They, well, yeah. that's no, you know? so that's the thing was the comedian that I met who brought me to the other show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was like, yeah, they didn't really like it. Like I'm, I'm like. <laughs> making fun of comedy kind of yeah, and he's yeah. like yeah dude we've only had comedy for like 20 30 years mm, here yeah like in the 80s we were communists yeah we didn't, yeah. We didn't have fucking food yeah you know yeah. I mean? so they're yeah. so people aren't like trying to do bits and shit yeah it's different <laughs> and it's really fascinating I, like i said i've never been to a soviet country before and this is mm -hmm. the closest i've been and it's like inter you can still see how that informs mm. like that kind of struggle yeah. They're very serious people and yeah. they're very, at yeah. least from my experience, we're very, uh -huh. um, also if you've ever, we've all done, we get shows here sometimes where there's for some reason a lot of German tourists. So yes. I know yeah. you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Yeah, 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 big time. Germans are like this. Yeah. Swedish people are like this. Mm. And I found Romanians to be like this. They have what I call engineer brain <laughs> where they're very one and zero binary kind of, like if you show them a magic trick, they won't be like, wow, they'll be like, trying to figure out how it works yeah, instead of just yeah, enjoying yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the silliness of it. Or like mm -hmm. the emotion yeah. of the yeah. experience. They're just like, so you tell how them, did you do that? Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. so you tell them a joke and they're very like, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. I yeah, see yeah, what yeah. you did. I definitely mm -hmm. have had that feeling. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, big time. So that was kind of the vibe of like a lot of Kind of like you get a people. nod if they yes. think it's a joke. Yeah. An yeah. acknowledgement of yeah. wordplay is kind mm -hmm. of like, hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. this, 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 yeah. is, this is yeah. okay. And then you ask them after and they're like, yeah, that was so fun. I had a great time. I had a wonderful time. <laughs> and then they time. sat there like stone faced the entire time, just nodding slightly. And you're I like, you almost hate me? smiled. <laughs> yeah. And then I thought of the war. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's the vibe, right? Of yeah. all this shit, right? So um, there's also, uh, I will give a disclaimer. I, for the sake of the story, I need to say a word that is a little, uh, I don't think any of us are experts, but I've researched this quite a bit. And I was nervous about um, how to kind of get this across. Well, I'm probably over explaining it. Let me just tell you the story. Yeah. Look. In 2011, I found an article mm -hmm. that said uh, in 2011, uh, uh, Romania has a pretty, Romania tried to tax their witches, right? <laughs> okay. That Romania has a big enough economy of like palm readers reading TVs. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's like mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Roma people are big there, right? Bingo. Yeah. Right. Right. I saw your, your eyes go. <laughs> I, I was like, God, I hope this is true. No, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so with that in mind, okay. Or you can even like hire these people to be like, put a curse on my boss. I hate him. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, it's like yeah, that kind yeah. of shit. Oh, okay. And they will kill they, a chicken over a bowl yeah. and do a thing like 100%, right? Whoa. So this is like a big enough, popular enough uh, economy uh, where they tried to tax this cash based, uh, you know, income. And the witches sent enough threats to the members of 
Parliament where they dropped the bill immediately. <gasps> and I thought that was so funny. And I was going to do this joke. Maybe they made voodoo dolls, you know? Right. Maybe. Well, they were afraid of them. Yeah, they were people like, are like genuinely <laughs> afraid of their power. Yeah. yeah, dude, yeah. They were wearing purple to or apparently a purple words off evil spirits. Oh. Yeah. Which I think that. Oh, that's why witches wear purple. Wearing purple. Wearing purple. Oh. I, think that's yeah. what, I think that's what that song means. Uh, yeah. Now, anyway, so I was like, wow, that's funny. I could do a joke about how like. Oh, you guys are afraid of witches. Uh, and then I was yeah. like, well, I'm afraid of witches. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I did this thing where I learned, I don't remember how to say it, but uh, oh, well, if my notes are up, I did this thing where in Romanian, I learned how to say, you best vrejitoadele, which means I love witches, right? And it was going to be like <laughs> an easy introductory joke to just get them on my side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I go to the club yeah. and I do this, I'm trying to do this joke and I could hear people being like, uh, you know, and I go, which is, and, and somebody goes, oh, you mean gypsy, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say oh, that. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. 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 So I've done a bit of research since I got back. Right. Mm -hmm. I, the, uh, it's gray. Right. Yeah. So it is a like nomadic tribe of people. Right. That also would, you know, do things like read people's palms and yeah. whatever. Yeah. But there's also a negative connotation mm -hmm. of like, oh, they're all thieves and can't yeah. be trusted and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But they're from that area, from the southern part of Romania. Yeah. So locally, they're like, yeah, they're fucking yeah, gypsies. Yeah. Course, That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. That's what we call it. Uh -huh. So yeah. I'm like, man, this is going to be like be on TV. And it's yeah. kind of, it puts me in a weird spot. Yeah. So, yeah. Because um, even though it's understood there that it's not like, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. it's not as like taboo of a thing there. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want, uh, like you to get a, like a late night spot or something. And then they're yeah. like, he said gypsy once on Romanian television. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just never know. So I was just like, <laughs> ah, that's not really sitting well with me. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. So all the stuff I've like written specifically for this yeah. isn't working. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, because of a language barrier, colloquialisms, mm -hmm. doing comedy in a foreign country is tough anyway, but yeah. this is so far removed that like, do, like I, I, um, it's on my special. I would do this joke about how I listened to like a lot of punk rock as a kid mm -hmm. and I always thought the coolest hair coat you could have would be a mohawk because mm -hmm. of my bald spot I can't have a mohawk that like starts here and ends here and starts again here and blah 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 and it's about like yeah. how bad a haircut that would be right yeah yeah so I've aged out of cool haircuts right uh <laughs> and that was another one that I was like oh wait again I was talking to this comedian he was like yeah dude uh in the eight, you're thinking of like an 80s punk rock haircut that was yeah. popular in New York. Yeah, and in the, in yeah. the, 80s, the Soviet Union was yeah. falling. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have There's too many things to cool track hair. That don't yeah. match. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm realizing and like, then did you wow. have to do? Could you do some of this in English and some of it in Romanian? Or? I don't know Romanian. <laughs> yeah, but you picked up some phrases. I just for learned it. that one thing because yeah, okay. I yeah. was going to do the joke. Yeah, so it'd now be I'm like, impossible to do the whole thing. So now I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, boy, I can't do like any of the Romanian jokes I thought I was yeah. going to do. I can't do half the American like English mm. jokes that I like my strongest stuff. So I've really yeah. got to be picky about what I want to do on TV. Yeah. yeah, I go to the second show. I do the coffee shop show. Much better response. They just seem to kind of get me a little bit more but yeah. when it came to the witch thing same exact thing happened <sighs> somebody else just say gypsy <laughs> uh, and I'm like I don't want to yeah. and he's like nobody cares I'm like but you can care yeah. and you should care and I just don't want to yeah. and afterwards some fucking white guy was like you can say anything dude you could say the n word except he didn't say the n word oh, he said no. the n word <laughs> so that's like how it's just like way behind oh, it's like yeah. way yeah. different Yeah, they were like I don't want to name drop anybody but they were like oh you live in New York do you like this comedian and it's all of the absolute worst oh yeah Mm. garbage racist mm -hmm. fucking like, yeah, comments okay, guys who are like shock jocks <laughs> yeah, dude. and like yeah. say crazy shit and people yeah. think it's comedy so, yeah. so I've gone back in time alright yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> so keep that in mind <laughs> alright so is the next day I it's like alright well we gotta figure this out we gotta tape right here's something that's maybe important for context is that I um uh, was told, well, okay, we were picked up at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. They do makeup. They do like a bunch of like intro interviews, yeah. you know, yeah. those little things where yeah. like, I'm Kyle and I'm from Kansas yeah. and I'm yeah, here yeah. to sing, you know, like <laughs> yeah, that type yeah, yeah. of shit. They don't start filming with the, like the studio audience, um, till 10 a.m. Uh, 
I didn't wind up going up till like 9 p.m. This is an all day Ooh. thing. Whoa. Oh, 8 a.m. It's hard enough to wait an hour and a half at a car show. 8 a.m. Yeah. their time is 1 a.m. our time. Yeah. No. So I just haven't slept. I've just been up all night. And I know this is like a little visual or whatever, but this is like this is like one of the guys that was like on the fucking show. Oh, come on. Play. Play, you son of a bitch. There's like like clowns. <laughs> this guy's like a mime clown kind of guy. Whoa. He's like one of the performers. There's like people doing like juggling. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm like, this is I don't care. Like I'm there so long. I'm like, I'm so tired. Were you the only comic? So I actually met two other comics mm. also from Barcelona. Huh. Oh, so wow. there must be okay. like a pipeline where yeah. they're yeah, just yeah, yeah. boom, boom, boom. They must have like a good reputation with the local club or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. Yeah. So um, I buddy up to them because they're the only other actual stand-up comics. Mm -hmm. And they're also the only other people that speak a bit of English. <laughs> and so they're the only people I can really communicate with, mm -hmm. right? And uh, let me tell you a bit about their sets. Okay. So there's it's a man and a woman. Right. Yeah. The the guy goes up. He's got this joke about how he's uh, ADHD. And so because of that, when he was a kid, he was put in the special ed class mm -hmm. and he goes, uh, you know, but back then they called me something different. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the judges are like, say it. Like I'm watching this oh, and the whoa. judges are like, say the word. Because remember, they don't give a yeah. fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. care. Yeah. They're like, why won't you See, say opposite it? opposite of here. He just goes, they're like, I know. Overly, cra crazy. Sometimes overly cautious here. But crazy, yeah. right? Yeah, completely. Opposite. Crazy. So so he's like, ah, dumb. And he just, whatever, say moves it, on. Throw in a few other slurs while you're at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We it's want insane. it on. We want it. And I'm like worried about this gypsy thing, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the woman goes up. She's got, you know that show, oh, what's that show where they, I think it's called Naked Attraction. Yes. The slider We've comes up. this on the pod. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, it shows your genitals. Yeah, you yeah. Decide who you like based on genitals. And she's got this, she's got, yeah. <laughs> Here I go again. <laughs> <laughs> she's got this joke about how these, all these women are there with their perfectly manicured pussies or whatever and she's like if it was me i got a fucked up it was like it was like, <laughs> yeah, was like yeah. my, my pussy's crazy basically was the basic yeah. gist of the joke now she doesn't use that language but yeah. that was like the the gist mm -hmm. of the joke and so there's four judges all right yeah. a guy who's a comic another guy who's a comic uh a woman who's like a pop singer and then another guy who's like a, a rapper this mm -hmm. white rapper guy who is like the bad boy he's like yeah. the simon cowell he's the oh, one who's okay. gonna fuck with you right yeah, yeah yeah so while uh she's up doing her joke about like i my, my pussy whatever blah 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 he stands up like this and puts it over his <laughs> oh! oh my god <laughs> So Kevin's standing up. He put his hands in a diamond shape, yeah. like a pussy, like a pussy, and he started uh, putting it over his, his crotch. Crotch. <laughs> That's what the guy did. Though. This is behavior. Just that, for anyone who's only yeah. listening on Spotify. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch it on YouTube. So look, I. So this is behavior that would get anyone fired yeah. in yeah, yeah. any other country yeah. Yeah. now. And they're like, this guy's hilarious. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, right? This guy yeah. is fucking wild. So uh -huh. I'm, I'm like, okay, I can't do my bald thing. I can't do any of the Romania stuff I uh -huh. was going to do. From their response, I was like, maybe I do that witch thing. There's a segment producer you like meet with and you just kind of rapid fire kind of run through the jokes mm -hmm. just for checks and balances yeah. and he goes you can't say gypsy what are you talking about <laughs> and i was like oh, okay all right so i'm definitely not even trying You're like that. i'm getting uh, a lot of mixed signals <laughs> yeah here. dude yeah. Like, oh, also you can say the on. r word on dude, live tv yeah. I know. and it's like it seems like i don't know <laughs> So I'm feeling very out of place. I haven't had any sleep mm -hmm. and there's cameras in my face all day and I don't care anymore. Yeah. I just want this yeah. to be over with. Yeah. And I'm watching the, the and I'm and, and I'm watching the, this fucking, you know, like the sexism and the whatever. And yeah. everything's like homophobic and all fucked mm -hmm. up. And I'm just like, just fuck this. Right. So uh, they finally call my name and I go up and I do my opening joke. I had one little <laughs> Romania joke left. Mm -hmm. Very easy, softball, underhand pitch. It's the one thing that made the cut for me. Uh, and it worked well at both shows the night before. I go, uh, now, by the way, I learned very quickly the audience doesn't speak English. 
<laughs> and they are like a football field away. It's so yeah. So oh no. But in my mind, I'm like, this is gonna crush. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I I've tested this locally. It's a local reference. They're gonna love it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Turns out that the audience only claps, and they only clap when the oh. light comes on. I was keeping it. I was like, oh, there it is. They see an applause. But were I, you if, the first comment to go up? No, no, no. I was at the end. I was oh. the la I was like second to last. But you couldn't see what was going on. Well, you could. No, you right? have a TV yeah. backstage. That's uh -huh. how I saw how they were treating oh, the other stand. Oh, you couldn't gotcha. like hear the laughter or clapping. I thought maybe because I was in back, I wasn't hearing much. Oh, okay. Turns yeah, out yeah. it's yeah, whatever. So, so I was like, all right, just do that first joke, and then and then do the couple easy, you know. And it's, I was like, I got this. <laughs> Nothing. Dude, are you kidding me? This will be a layup, right? I go up and I go, uh, yeah, yeah, I live in uh, I live in America. Uh, you know, actually, there's uh, Romania and America has a rich history together. Uh, we go way back. Um, we've, uh, what do I say? I go, uh, you know, you guys gave us uh, Dracula and we gave you Andrew Tate. Right. <laughs> and I thought that was going to kill because it for it was like a good line. Oh, yeah, the yeah, night yeah. Before. Dude, crickets, oh. crickets. And then I'm like, OK, next joke. Right. <laughs> I do the like three jokes yeah. that I thought didn't have any sort of slang, mm -hmm. special colloquialisms or language were yeah. clean enough for TV and wouldn't yeah. get me in any sort of trouble. And mm -hmm. right. And I have a thing in my ear. I go, all right, thank you. And you stand there for a sec because they're going to give feedback, right? And the thing in my ear has a translator. And they're like, I hear uh, this woman go, uh, they want you to do more? <gasps> oh, no. And I'm like, oh, maybe they liked me? Hmm. <laughs> and then I hear, yeah, he said, they say you didn't do enough time, so you need to do more time. And I was like, no! oh, no, I cut, no. I cut too much. Yeah. So oh. now I got to just on the fly oh, think yeah. of like oh shit okay 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 yeah. quick what's something clean that makes sense that i can do and for some reason the only joke that popped in my head is a very dark personal story about how my dad drank himself to death <laughs> <laughs> and is buried in an unmarked grave because we didn't have money for a funeral it's not the shortest joke. It is not the most yeah. easy to swallow joke. I've heard this joke. You did it at um at uh We Still Like You. Yeah, right? yeah, Very I good. did. Thank yeah. you. Uh, so and that was like a ten minute version. Yeah, well, that was like a serious. Yeah, but I can, yeah. you know, I have a punchy yeah, version. Yeah. That I can, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, and I go, okay. Do you guys like dark, like dark humor? Here we go, <laughs> and I just go into it. Yeah. Okay. Now. The 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 like rapper guy, like the mm -hmm. Simon Cowell kind of guy. Yeah. He uh he like interrupts me. He just goes, Hey, real quick, uh, would you ever would you ever fuck an alien? <laughs> and I'm like Wait, thinking, after your joke about your dead before dad. Before the joke, right? We're in the middle of it. So I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking he's going somewhere with this. I'm like, yeah, you got it okay, for the story. Make him do more time so I can interrupt Dude, him with the alien question. Yeah. Yeah. Happens go, every show. Yeah. I go, I go, uh, I go, you got it for the story, right? And he goes, okay. I was like, all right, back to my dead dad. Like, what? <laughs> what is going on in this fucking country, dude? This is crazy. So... I finished that up. It goes as expected. Yeah. C just f c people staring at me confused. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one other. Can I, just, uh, am I yeah. taking too long here? No, no, okay. no. You're yeah. fine. You're good. Going. Uh, there was one other thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was like, I can't end on that. And I was like, okay, there was this one other joke I was going to do. I do where the joke is, okay, I'm giving, this is going to be a very unfunny version of the joke, but the yeah. joke is I used to wait tables and I waited on this guy one time who left a note on the back of, uh, his receipt mm -hmm. and he, and he, um, and the note said, are you into dudes? Call me. And then the joke, I go, I don't want to, I don't want to bang a dude. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't. And I pause and you build tension with silence. Yeah. And then you go, uh, I want to bang a man, right? A big, <laughs> strong man who's going to make me feel safe. Yeah, and the yeah, joke yeah, yeah. is that, oh, I'm not being like hateful. I'm having standards. Yeah, That's yeah, the whole yeah, joke. Yeah. Okay. In Romania. Okay. So typically when I do that, it's like, I don't want to bang a dude. You can hear people. Yeah, type it tenses up. up. Yeah. In yeah. comedy, laughter is the release of tension, right? In Romania, I go, I don't want to bang a dude. The whole audience bursts into applause. 
They were like, I thought you were going to be one of those uncool Americans Dude. who think that gay people should have Cra- rights. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. That's wild. <laughs> and then I go, uh, I want to bang a man. And I literally heard somebody go, ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Insane. So now it's time for the judging. <laughs> it's time for the judging, right? And that white rapper guy, I'm like, fuck this guy. He was being like fucking ugh, gross. Yeah, and he's interrupting yeah. with bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, oh, I, I hate all these people, right? Yeah. Judge number one. I didn't uh, know what you were saying. Thumbs down. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Fair. Judge number two. He said. Uh, he said he was a. He said I seemed too worried about being politically correct. Thumbs down. <laughs> which is strange <laughs> feedback because yeah. like I didn't like. I don't know. I don't know. I the only thing you heard from me. I maybe it was like the I want to bang a man thing. I, I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Uh, I talked about my dad dying. I don't know what you what you want. Yeah. All yeah. Right? Judge number three, the pop singer, she's like, um, I think it's like how Paul Abdul famously is like, everybody gets a thumbs up. Thanks yeah. for trying. Oh, right, yeah. Doesn't count. And then yeah. we get to the rapper, my yeah. nemesis. And he goes, man, you remind me of me when I write my raps. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you got all these fucked up thoughts in your head. Thumbs up. I loved it. And I was like, great. The one fucking guy I didn't want to like me loved me. Yeah, man. And when the I, worst audience member likes two, you. Yeah, like, yeah. Two thumbs down, two thumbs up, which means I don't go to the next round. Yeah. Fine. Didn't You're plan free. on it. I'm here as a joke anyway. Yeah. I do an exit interview. I walk out. I feel a hand on my shoulder. I turn around. It's the rapper guy. Oh. What's his name? Uh, I don't know. I I can mm. look it up. I I don't remember. Um, uh, breath reeks of whiskey. Oh, yeah, Apparently, yeah. he's just been drink like day drinking this whole time. He's, <laughs> and he's like, I meant that shit, man. I fucking like you. And then he went outside to go have a smoke. I was like, this sucks. I went to the green room. There's nobody there. Yeah. I call my girlfriend, and I'm like, this fucking sucks. Yeah. This was trash. Nothing makes sense. There be there. Fuck. Everybody's a bigot. This is insane. <laughs> can't wait to get home this is garbage <laughs> and my phone's blowing up and i'm getting a lot of texts i'm like hold on a second and i look and it's my whatsapp and it's the producer i've been whatsapping yeah. and she goes hey uh you still have our mic on uh oh! we're gonna need that <laughs> oh! 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 oh my god this is hurting me really bad <laughs> as well oh my god no, oh, that's so. Funny. And what did she? What else did she say? I think it was just. Uh, I she went just to let go, you know she didn't go, go like you piece of shit. We or didn't anything. talk about it. I, we. <sighs> oh. I, I was like, oh, oh, I gotta go. I went to go find God. her. She removed the microphone pack off of me and yeah. said, "All right, well, thanks for coming." <laughs> Oh man! No, thanks. Like no good job. Not just like all right. Well, thanks. Thanks. Got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's my story of the time Ooh. I bombed on Romanian television. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's coming out in like May or something. And I oh, okay. maybe will never share the clip. Yeah, that's or fair. Maybe, I don't know how they're gonna edit it. I don't know. I yeah. think the story's fun. Oh, I can't wait to see how they edit it. So Dude, yeah. Can that, you at least send it to us? Of course. I mean, yeah, I'll find it hilarious. So that's my Yikes. embarrassing story. Yeah. And then I flew home the next day and took care of my girlfriend with a broken ankle. Yeah. Where yeah, it should yeah. have been all along. <laughs> yeah. Damn, and then were you like, uh, heaviest building? What if she made? It? And then she loved it. Mm-hmm. You did all the jokes for her and she's like, dude, yeah. maybe they were, maybe they were like, um, Yes, all of our wives are heavy. <laughs> what are you fucking bragging about? We're fucking Eastern European. Mm-hmm. Everybody here has yeah. wide shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> you know Everybody's mean? sturdy. Dude, all we all we do is fucking take potatoes out of the field. What do you think? <laughs> what you think I want a small woman? No. I want a woman that looks like an ox. <laughs> they just think you're bragging and they don't like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She yeah. can ha- she can rear so many children. Maybe that's yeah. why they thought you're being politically correct. You're like, yeah, I got a good my wife. My wife fits the standards of this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny when they were like, say it, say the R word to that guy. I guess, like, in retrospect, like, I was purposely trying to be TV clean. Yeah. And it's like, man, maybe I should have just gone, like, acted like it was a club or something. Yeah. Just yeah, gone that yeah. route. <laughs> I was thinking, who watches uh, America's Got Talent? It's like, Middle America. Like, yeah. my mom would watch that. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. let's be yeah. squeaky clean. So I don't know, man. Maybe it's a That's different demographic over there, but it tripped me up, dude. It tripped me up and everybody I came in contact with hated me. <laughs> and it was good to be back in the good old US of yeah. A. Yeah. Man. Oh my God, man. That's so oh, funny. That's, yeah. Dude, the fucking witches lobby is so funny. 
I know. It's insane, right? It's hilarious right? that, like, in America, it's all, like, sorry, I was thinking about this, like, the entire time. <laughs> but the witches' lobby is so funny. Like, in America, lobbying is all money. Money's power. No, uh, But they yeah. have, like, real power mm, and yeah. no money. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? That's They're like so churches. True. Like, we don't tax yeah. churches. Yeah. Because yeah. we're all afraid of God for no reason. Yeah. Like yeah, he's dude. Around. But if you had witches actively working, like, I, no fucking way I would pass that bill either. No, totally. Not worth the risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to wake up with a so tail funny. or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, yeah. Thinner, <laughs> yeah. You know? You have like hairy feet and your whole family's dead. <laughs> yeah. Locusts have eaten all your bread. Yeah, dude. Or whatever the fuck. Dude, <laughs> fucking incredible. Man. Yeah, man. That's it. That's incredible. That is, uh, I mean, I feel like you're gobsmacked by that. Yeah, <laughs> it was just the end. Like that really, I felt like I was experiencing it at the end. Yeah, yeah when yeah. they heard me talking shit, it was a very. That's the thing I worry about a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah, I Dude. talk a lot of shit. Every time me and Brittany are talking shit, yeah. Every time me and Brittany are talking shit, we'll be in the street in the middle of nowhere, and We're Brittany like, will be like, "No, you are like that." Brittany's like. <laughs> she's like looking around everywhere in case a person we know is the but, person we're talking about is nearby but you know what it is though it's like we're all co-workers yeah so yeah. name a job where you didn't talk shit on your co-workers yeah you there's know? always someone fucking kyle's yeah. always so slow busting his tables yeah. or jeff's always kissing up to the boss or whatever it yeah. is it's Adam the exact always same comes thing in and asks us to get lunch together and he's trying to be really nice about it but and the I, way he does it he's fake He's yeah. fake, fake about it and I don't yeah. like it. He's yeah, fake? Dude. I don't There's... like how he gets in my periphery and doesn't just get straight in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> That's true. all think we know how to do our little job best. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're gonna talk yeah. shit on anybody who's yeah. in conflict with totally. that. Yeah. And there's a few people that if I was like, they're not fucking funny, I would not mind them hearing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I'm like waiting for the day that somebody I hate hears me talking shit and I can be like, yeah, that's fucking right. Yeah. Yeah, wow. that's right. Oh yeah. I would love to, oh we gotta, man. I, you gotta tell me who I'm the chance. No, Say they're not gonna listen to the podcast. I want I don't wanna do Check it. Check out our Patreon to figure out which comics. <laughs> I don't wanna Allie do hates. it like a coward behind the camera. I wanna do it to their fucking face and ruin yeah, their day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's also it's like equally weird when people are unwilling to talk shit. Mm -hmm. Right, like there's someone who never says anything bad. It's like, yeah, you yeah, gotta, I'm like, are you wearing a wire? You know what Just sucks? You, you're being me. fake if you can never say any opinion Dude, about how you feel. About you know it. what sucks the most about that is you find that out after you've talked shit. So yeah. I've confided in you, and yeah. now you're not giving me anything back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not how this yeah, works. Totally. At the minimum, you now have you to be like, me. oh, I understand why you feel that way. Like, yeah. at minimum, yeah. totally fine if you're like, yeah, I get it. They're yeah. kind of whatever. Yeah. yeah. But if you're like. Yeah, gonna do this holier than now thing. Yeah, totally. I don't trust Especially if you announce it, you're like, yeah, I don't really, I don't really gossip. I don't really. Uh, yeah, I know. Get banned. I'm like, so I don't really like to boring, uh, spread negative vibes yeah. around and stuff. So you're annoying. One time, uh, uh, in grad school, me and the lab, you know, we all became really close friends, right? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we were making fun of. We had all just watched that documentary about the guys who they were like. Pony boys or something? Is this familiar? The what? My Little Pony oh, thing? Oh, bronies. Bronies! Yeah. Pony boys. Pony yeah. boys is so funny. And we were kind of, we had all watched it. We were in the lab. We were just kind of joking around about these guys. Yeah. Right? And then another one of the lab people come in and hears us joking and he got mad <gasps> that we were like talking shit about people, not people none of us know. What? Yeah. And about this like culture. Do you think they're a Which is like brony. obviously the documentary was half to make fun and half to be like, here's a group of people that, you know, mm. they have their own like niche and, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Closet brony though? Maybe. Definitely. He was pissed. Or like. You know, he was my like, no negative brony. vibes, and he left the, the room. He, he was probably like, well, now I can't share my myself with my whole coworkers. <laughs> yeah, you can't, ma'am. He's like, wow, guess I'm never fucking wearing my tail to work. <laughs> yeah. Can't shit on bronies. That's a crazy line to me. Yeah, make. I know. There's some people that everybody should just be able to shit on. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Disney Bronies adults. One of them. Yeah, Disney adults. I would have welcomed him shitting on horse girls. You know, yeah, of course. that group. Yeah, that's true. Fine. It shows a real lack of. This is this is a thing I have when mm -hmm. people won't joke around with you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Or when people won't talk shit with you or whatever. Yeah. I think it shows a lack of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you have a lack of curiosity, I think you uh, you can have like overcorrected empathy in a yeah. self righteous way. Yeah. yeah. You know, it makes you lack perspective because you're trying so hard to be empathetic yes. in a way that's not even real. Yes. Yeah. So then you can't look at things from multiple sides. Yeah. Truly. You're like blocked. Yeah. 
Or it's like, I see this happen a lot where it's like they'll shit on somebody else. But then mm. when it comes to like the group that they consider themselves to be a part of, mm -hmm. they're like, that's not funny. Yeah, That's actually uh, yeah. not funny. And no. I'm like, first of all, Can't you can make that. fun of literally anybody. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I and mean? And I find it most funny to make fun of the things I relate to most. Yeah. So like when you're making fun of me, that's the best. Yeah, yeah totally. Because I'm like, yeah, I get like I get it the most. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't understand people who don't feel like that. Yeah, who are like, that was fucked up, People man. who can't be roasted, that's like a, that's like a weird thing, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a sad, pent-up kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the, we, w w do you hang with these people, though? Not no, really. no. These are people that I uh, have to see against my will. Every yeah. Day. yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, we gotta, yeah, yeah. we gotta wrap it up. We gotta wrap? Yeah. Oh, we, we didn't get to on... talk shit on anybody on the internet. Oh! Oh, it's okay. Well, that's all right. Yeah. Um, mm. <laughs> you don't know what to do now? You now don't know what, what to do now. now what do we Will you do? sign us off? <laughs> this is perfect, actually. We end like this. <laughs>